Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome back to another tutorial but before we start can you please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up I would really really appreciate it and also you can support me at um, Light Years Animation Studio You can check out my work and also um, my short animated film Rise of the King is available on Amazon. Your support will be very much appreciated. If you have the Amazon, <clears throat> if you have the Amazon Prime video subscription, you'll be able to watch the entire movie for free. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's skip to work. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a quick terrain. How, how to create easily an outside of terrain. But before we hop into this, uh, make sure you check out those three videos I uploaded. That tells you how you create and make your own animated movie in Maya. The first video I showed, um, explained on the resources that you need. Second video talk about how to export objects in and out of Maya. The third video um, explain how to use Character Creator. And the fourth video it shows you how to animate those characters. And the fifth video that's coming out soon is going to show you how to use the lip sync and the uh, facial animation. So they should be coming out pretty soon. Okay, here I'm going to show you, this is going to be a quick tutorial, this is going to be, th this channel, I'm going to show you easy ways of doing things. You don't necessarily have to be a professional, what I'm getting ready to show you, because I'm not a professional, I'm an amateur, so. I'm going to show you ways how you can create things in this um, software. That, let's say if you do have some sort of um, project that you're trying to create or that you have an idea that it is possible to do it without knowing a whole lot. Okay, so we're going to use what you call the soft modification tool here. This is what you see here. Okay, we're going to start from the beginning. So let's go to file. Go to new scene. Don't save. Okay. Okay, let's see. All right, here we go. Okay, the first thing we want to do, we're going to create a plane. We're going to grab it here. Put it down here just like this. I'm sorry, let me see what happened. Let me spread out just a little bit more. Put it about right there. Let's pick this out just a little bit like that. Yeah, just probably like that. Okay, so we're gonna go into we we we, we got the plane here. Let's go in just a little bit like that. We go into the poly plane, and we're gonna create 50 subdivisions for the width 50 and the height 50. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is going to be very simple tutorial on how to create an outside environment and how to create terrain very easily. Okay, first we're going, what you want to do, you want to choose the modeling menu here. And then you want to go into the form. Click that. Then we're going to scroll all the way down to soft modification. This is what we're going to use, soft modification. I'm going to go here into the outliner. 
and you notice every one that every um, soft modification that you make is going to create um, a soft modification handle here in the outliner okay so let me show you what, what we can do pull this up just like that okay, did you see that then we go here we can pull this up there we can go here pull this up there we go here put one there then we put one here then we put one right, right there put one right there so each time I put one it pops it populates the outliner one here okay so if you want these to come out a little bit more you can use what you call the follow radius so watch this you can make this come out maybe just a little bit more like that you can raise that up there and you could do the same thing with this raise it up just a little bit more just to fall out there Okay, there we go. Okay, let me put this up where we can kind of see it there. Let's see, go to the plane there. See it? A better view there. So. Okay, it's kind of cool. Okay, there we go. Okay, now the second thing we want to do is we want to turn this plane into a Lambert. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this. We're going to go down to assign mat material and we're going to assign a Lambert shading on this plane. Just like that. And then the next thing we want to do, we want to add a bump map to it. So we're going to go here, click on this. We're going to add what you call fractal. So you click on fractal. Bam, there we go. So we're going to click on this. Okay, this is going to show us how this plane look after I hit after I um, created the um, the fractal and then what you want to do is that you want to adjust it here in the aptitude you want to bring it down maybe just a little bit here watch how that changes like that then we want to change it down here all right there we go okay it looks more like a like a terrain doesn't it okay then we click on this and then maybe we can add some color to it and like maybe a brown color to this I'm sorry. There we go. Okay. And we're going to render this in Maya software. So let's do a quick window, see how it looks. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so another thing we're going to do, we're going to add some grass. Okay, so the only thing you have to do, you just go into your visor, which is your paint effect. So we're going to go here in Windows, go down to um, 
general editor. Then you want to scroll down to visor. There we go. So this menu comes up and it gives you a list of all the paint effects that you can use here. So what we want to use is grass. You click down here on grass. Not glass, I'm sorry, grass, grass. This is my grass. Yeah, grass. I'm sorry, I hit glass. <laughs> okay, there we go. So basically we want to do we want to create like maybe clumps of grass all around here. So let's check this out. Click on this. And then what you want to do, you want to uh, middle mouse click. Then you want to drag this. Minimize that. We'll create some grass here. Yeah, we'll create some grass there. You probably couldn't see it. You have to go into your um, let's see, into your global scale, so we can see it. Let me try to make this come out. See, there you go. So I hit the global scale just a little bit there. And then I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna pull it out. There we go. Let's go to this one. Let's do the same thing. Go into the global scale. Raise it up just a little bit. Don't get rid of it too much. There we go. Maybe bring it down just a tad bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm create just one more clump of grass. There maybe. Okay, get the global scale there. Okay, let's bring this over. Just trying to give you an idea. Okay, just make it a little small right there. There you go. Let's do a quick render to see how this looks. Re render this in Maya software. <clears throat> okay, it doesn't look too bad. Then also, we can add what you call, we can create a light. So let's go into light. Let's create a point light. Okay, let's go up to here. Kind of come back just a little bit there. Okay, there we go. Okay, maybe we can make this um, point light just a little bit, give it a little bit more intensity there. A render again so there you go that's the way how you create a simple simple terrain i hope you got something out of this um, tutorial don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give me a thumbs up i really appreciate it more videos to come thank you thank you thank you and you have a blessed day and that other video should be out pretty soon Thank you. Have a blessed day.